Answers with Ken Ham. Today's question, do animals evolve? And now, Ken Ham. How did Noel get all the animals in the ark? In fact, the secular world often asked that question to say, see, if you don't have an answer, I'm not going to believe in Noah's ark. That couldn't have happened. It couldn't have been a real event. We need to be able to give answers to those sort of questions. And what I want to do in this particular session is to show you how we can develop an answer to that, and it also helps us explain many other things as well. We're going to start with the Bible and build our thinking on the Bible. In Genesis chapter 1, God tells us that he made the animals and plants after their kind. In fact, the phrase after its kind or after their kind occurs ten times in Genesis chapter 1. It's as if God is saying he made distinct kinds of animals and plants to reproduce after their own kind. Now here's where the evolutionists say, ah, now we've got you Christians, because we know that animals change. Well, do animals change? Think about that for a moment. Because they say, look, animals change. And yet the Bible is saying God made distinct kinds of animals from plants. Well, let's delve into this a bit more. Now, I want you to think about this. Change. Well, we ask the question, do dogs change? You know what the answer is? Yes, they do. They change into dogs, don't they? <laughs> but there's all sorts of different varieties of dogs. In fact, we believe in those same sorts of changes that Darwin observed. See, think about the dog kind. You say, well, wait a minute, we've got wolves and coyotes, dingoes, etc. you know, Great Dane, Little Chihuahua, poodles, which are really a lesser dog, but nonetheless, they're still a dog.
Uh, by the way, what were they? Dogs. What are they? Dogs. What will they be? Dogs. Incidentally, is that evolution? The answer is no, that's just what? Dogs. <laughs> but, but how do we get all those different varieties of dogs? Well, if God made distinct kinds of animals and plants, he made the dog kind. Let's say there were two dogs to start with. We don't know how many dogs there were to start with, but, but let's say God made two dogs, and they get married and have kids, and their kids get married and have kids, and their kids get married and have kids, and you end up with lots of dogs. People say, okay, I can understand that. You've got lots of dogs, okay? But, but how then do you get these different varieties of dogs, like wolves and coyotes, dingo, collie, poodle, and so on? Well, you know that life is built up on the basis of information, that molecule of heredity, DNA. And dogs have dog genes, if you like. And you get one set of genes from the male and one from the female, and, and then you get your offspring produced. Remember how we learn at school about genes, not the genes you wear. You know the genes in your cells? You know, millions of years ago for some of us, I think. But anyway, <laughs> you remember how we learned about pairs of genes like big A, little a, big B, and it's corresponding, little b, big C, little c. Remember that? Well, of course, it's much, much more complicated than this, but the basic principles are still the same. That's what we want to deal with, just basic principles so we can understand this. Okay, imagine we have a male dog and a female dog. Big A, little a, big B, little B, big C, little C. Look, let me give you an idea of how much information is in our genes. If you took just one man and one woman from this audience, do you know if it were physically possible, you could actually have more children than atoms in the known universe without getting two looking the same? Isn't that an incredible amount of variability? Do you know how many atoms they estimate are in the known universe? 10 to the 80th power. That's a 1 followed by 80 zeros. Do you know how many possible combinations of children from two people without getting two exactly the same? It's been estimated to be a 10 to the 2017th power. That's a 1 followed by 2017 zeros. That's a lot of information, isn't it?